Oh, hey, folks. No Rambler here. I'm just helping Simon observe. And he does a lot of hmm. So I guess that helps. Anyway, howdy. Episode 2. Stranded Alien Dawn. And yeah, he's just hmm away. So more meteorites crashing to the planet. And, and who are you? Are you? We've got a small bird I've seen flying around. You can, uh, small flying lizard. Yeah, let's trigger you. I don't think we're going to catch up to you in time to observe you, but sure, give it a try. Anyway, it is still that first night, and Paulette and Rita have wiped out apparently all of their transporting, and they're off to work on cutting. And we are done with cutting everything here and here. Back up a little bit. Yeah, most of those are gone. All the logs are gone. Carter is getting something to eat and sitting down at the table that he built. Mm-hmm. That's got to feel good. And we're eating an emergency ration. Can't zoom in any further to see what it is he's actually eating, but... Uh, it probably tastes really good after a hard day's work. So there over here, Simon is doing his job. And let's see. I see activity over there, bug-wise, or critter-wise. Let's go wander over that way a little bit. I'm still uh, enjoying the, uh, the, uh, the graphics of this game and all the different animals and all the different plants. These guys have got me wondering... They've traveled some distance. I, I really wonder if they're going to go hunting. Do we have to wait for them to get close enough or wait for them to get hungry enough? You can't click on them to see their, their appetite. They're just, uh, they're building up the courage to come over and poke at a jelly bug. Oh, 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 there they go, there they go. Oh, what did they, they took out a dragonfly. Gobble, gobble. And I guess they've done their job. This one's going to, uh, eat the benefits here hmm well if there's anything left we'll go ahead and set it for butcher but i have a feeling they're not going to leave much and it's sunrise wow those three hours just went by really quick four hours i think it was 1 a.m when i turned the game on yeah let's um how is the rest now we're just getting down to that 50 percent mark okay so between 8 a.m yesterday and 6 a.m., we wiped out a little more than 50% of their rest. They're going to be exhausted tonight. Let's let's do a couple things before I turn this game on. Let's uh, manage and schedules. <clears throat> One thing that in RimWorld, if you... In RimWorld, I think there was another setting for eat. I think there was a time you could tell them to go and eat. Or am I thinking of another one? No, we'll fates i played that for a little while and that one had that as well they would hit their trigger to go and eat walk across the map by the time they get to here it's already gone to the next hour and now they're not eating anymore and they're going back to work so you got to give them travel time when you think about these schedules so let's do something like i'm just I'm looking for these up there they're not there let's do an anything here give them two hours to do anything including grabbing a meal Doing some relaxation. Oh, that's interesting. Rimworld, you had to kind of click, 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 click. This one looks like you can just sleep, click. Okay. Why are you not doing it? There we go. And drag across. So there's five, six, seven hours. Let's go with seven hours. When it hits anything, I suppose if they're still really tired, they could just continue sleeping. Let's do another row of anything. So a block at the beginning of the day and the end of the day to do whatever they need. And then what is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 13 hours of nonstop work. <laughs> what am I, a slave master? <laughs> Let's do a two-hour block in the middle. That is... There we go. And if they're not stressed out, needing relaxation, needing to eat, it's possible they'll just continue working. It is, work isn't anything. Now, will they relax or should I force them to relax? 
let's let this thing just ride like this and find out. Now let's, um, that means we are still short on resources. Which resources are we short on? 17 hay, but I've got plenty. So three more is about to be delivered. Okay. Now we've got cooking, we've got eating, and different kinds of food. Let's do something like research over here as well. Research, desk, wooden, and I suppose rotate that way. Or actually it could work right there. Yeah. Research, walkway in between, get to the shelves. Or walkway in between, get to the shelves. I think that will work. So we still have all this available. Let's get more storage in here. Well, let's wait on that. There's storage space in here too. Maybe we have a, we'll come up with another use for that as we uh, get further into the game. And this is by no means, you know, not our permanent home. This is a quick uh, lean-to to get us through. But let's give them some things to build before we turn the game back on. I'm thinking storage. Um, yeah, wooden storage. And something like that. And something like that. Now, what if we got some, where is it, production? Workbench facing in to the shelves, so it leaves a walkway in between. And what goes on the back of that workbench? Drying rack sounds like an outside thing. So these two are inside. We've already done science. There may be more benches and whatnot showing up soon, but I think that's it for now. I mean, we could do research right there. It just seemed... If we're going to store the medicine over here, I don't know, it just kind of felt like it fit. But, so we have space for another bench of some kind. There will be, I don't know, a soldering bench, electronics bench, some other kind of crafting sort of things eventually. Though by the time we get to those, we may be in a permanent structure. But that gets those being built. That gets that being built. And I guess, until we figure out what it's for, let's stick a small drying rack in. Uh, production and once we figure out what you really do with a drying rack then we'll probably build the big one after that so you can get to it from two sides no rhyme or reason as to where it goes you would think a drying well should a drying rack be under a roof so that once if it starts to rain what you have dried does not get wet though will it dry if it's not out in the open air and am I thinking way too hard about this <laughs> I don't know. So let's just pop it there and, and say that looks wonderful. Okay, so anything else I need to do? I I was debating whether or not to be running this on a faster speed, but as quickly as we just blew through those four hours, unless the game intentionally speeds up the time during night. That's possible. I didn't actually time anything. Maybe from 6 a.m. on it's going to take its time. As you guys were watching or go back and rewind, you could kind of note how fast that countdown was happening. But so we watched the the giant chickens go and and uh, uh, make a kill, auto save, a cause for celebration. So we know that the animals will attack each other, and they put on a nice show for for us while we're waiting for them to go build things. I guess I could be wa over there watching them build things, but kind of fun to roam around this map as well. Cause for celebration. Carter. We put together a camp as quickly as we could, considering the circumstances. I was just checking the pause over there. We are not sleep uh, we're not sleeping on the dirt. We have a roof over our heads and a fire to illuminate the dark, uncertain nights. So I'm thinking that sphere of influence on the campfire was a positive one. Some games, if you get light too close to where they sleep, like clan folk, they won't sleep. They'll they'll have a disturbed sleep because it was too bright. But I think our campfires next to the beds was a good thing here in this wild, uncertain place. And the most important, we have survived. To us, this feels like an achievement worth honoring. We can gather around the campfire and celebrate being alive at 1900 tonight. Great idea, or now is not the time for this. No, no, no. You give them all the celebrations that you can. That is a huge boost to morale when it happens. So let's get back over that direction nothing well let's pop over the hill let's go around this thing we'll come back the other way
see what's going on over here. Hmm. I've noticed that as I move this thing around when I edited the video that there's some tearing in the face cam. If I go quick back and forth, my cheeks get all blotchy. So, what are you? Oh, you're sleeping. Okay. Blade grass. So, I guess I should try to slow down my movements and my voice. Let's see. If I click this mouse a few times, and then... Yeah, that might be a little bit slower. Smoothing it out. We've been through this... This looks a little new. I don't think it's the pathway I took before. Oh, we're in the Badlands here. Where am I? Ah, oh, right behind the camp, huh? Well, no, not even there. I guess last time we went that way. So we didn't go through these rocks. Interesting. Um, Carter is finishing the construction, or the uh, research bench. So let's... Do a few things here. Blade grass. Yeah, my mouse now it took me forever to get up to that corner. Yeah, I better keep it there. Um, new discovery. <clears throat> I, so I assume that's Simon, took a sample of the blade grass while observing it. Growing and harvesting it won't be too hard as long as one's careful with the razor sharp edges of the grass. Talk about a fitting name. Planting a blade grass for hay. Sawgrass, is that what I'm thinking of? I remember a grass that had that had uh, sharp little edges on it. Somewhere that I lived oh, long ago. And you run your hands backwards down the blade and it will cut you. So I have come across something like that before. Um, celebration and blade grass, which means farming. Let's think about farming. New little tab here showed up at the end of last episode with the corn grain cob grain cob so click on that and we get green no that's yellow eight well in between 80 percent growth compared to 100 percent growth so loam is over here silt is over here you are in fertile soil in fertile soil no what are you You're gravel there you are gravel only five percent growth there hmm over here, gravel as well. Yeah. So, it, the game does make you think about where you're going to plant it. Now, I see the 80% and the 100% there. Is it the same for all, or does each one have their own little area? 90% uh, here, and 100% there. Okay. And in the gravel right there... This one grows at 40%, whereas the other one, what did it say, was 5 So they are a little different. Yeah, it, it does take soil conditions into account. Nice. So we are over here. Where is the final shelter structure compound going to be? I'm assuming that we can clean up the wrecks if we want to, which opens the space up a little bit more. We could get up in here, cut the trees down, and get a, a higher ground. Hmm. I actually kind of like that. We could even build walls along these trees and use them as a bit of a buffer outside of our walls? Hmm. Natural buffer? I have to think about that. Is that a positive or negative? It wipes out our line of sight, too. <clears throat> Let's see. How far away was that bug nest? Was that... Apparently it was a lot further than I thought. I thought I would see it right here. It must be well over the... You know, over the little crown over there. Also, it's up there? Did I get up that far last time? Anyway, it's a long way away from us. So, I wonder if this is our plateau here. Maybe the first shelter hits up here. Um, so farming long term, 80%, and so the 100 is in here, we're soil and clay under the trees, no, just in that one area, so trees grow well, apparently, even in bad conditions, so we're at 80% growth up in this area, same as down here, 
I just want to make sure I'm not going to put a farm right over the top of where we're eventually going to want to put a foundation and build a building. But for now, let's just make it convenient and close. This one is grain cob. Quantities, I don't know. Let's just pop in something like that. And then uh, blade grass, it seems like we're going to want quite a bit of that. Let's leave a walkway and pop a much bigger one in there and just see what that looks like. Okay, so that's the extent of the farming we know how to do at this point. That is in on our messages. Um, Carter Reach Construction 4. Nice. Lots of practice over here. So research is a new thing for us. Manage and research. Curious, can I click on the... No research queued. Yeah. <laughs> can I click on the bench and do that? I can get it from there. Okay. So two ways to get to it. And the integrity I just saw. Oh, so it's hit points. It can be damaged. Simon is running. He is starving. I wonder what it says. Because he's running for that, that meal. Um, overview. Fullness, 44%. Hmm. Odd to see him run like that. Um, research. There, there. What do we get into first? We can't build our first building until we figure this part out. So that seems important. Tailoring eventually, though our clothes are pretty good at the moment. Um, hay sausage. Culinary ex experimentation and involving chemistry, we could transform hay into an edible meal. Lots of fiber in that. We will use whatever vegetables we have to spice it up. So hay and veggies equals hay sausage. You would think meat would be part of that. I guess it's a vegetarian sausage. Um, so tailoring spaceship deconstruction. Deconstruction of a large spaceship debris uh, will require a bit of research how to safely demolish these large structures. Any of you who have played the game before, tell me. If you were to demolish a spaceship, do you then get all of the goods you would have scavenged from it had you taken the time to do it? Or are you sacrificing all those just to make your map look nicer? So I'm not into sacrificing supplies. So maybe you can answer that question. I think construction basics are pretty important. And I think that... Well, wooden fortifications. Hint, scavenging. Okay, I guess they're saying we need to go get some more supplies. Um... The old Romans had it figured out. Sharpen wooden logs and dig them into the soil. Such wooden fortifications will provide sturdier defenses than fences or walls. A, and wooden towers provide elevated shooting platforms for drafted survivors. We just need to figure out how Romans made those. How Romans did make those. Okay. So that seems like a pretty important uh, thing to have figured out soon as well. Weaponsmithing. We've got the, uh, the railgun snipers, but that's going to be a thing soon, and we may have to delete these after a while and come up with other important things as, as we learn what oil extraction means. Which would that... Oh, I guess I could read it. For centuries, people have been extracting vegetable oils from grain by applying brute force to it. We just... we, we just need to design a primitive oil press and not use it as a torture device. So there was mention of the grain cob being used for antibiotics. I'm wondering if this is the beginning of that process. And we're going to need to convert ores into metals so we can start building things. So yeah, these first ones are all kind of important. Breakthroughs, printed components, fuel, ferment fermentation, Batteries, yeah, we got power to research too. Let's just put some things in there and see what happens. Though Simon is not going to be getting to that because we have observing as our number one. Rita and Carter. Well, okay, what's Rita's twos? She's cutting and then she gets into scavenging. Mining, cooking, crafting. Hmm. Just wondering how to get research going and still 
continue to uh, get out there and and observe things. We're going to want to. We're probably not going to want to replant trees, except maybe for ornamental reasons. Uh, we've got more trees in this map than we'll ever know what to do with. So I don't need to research or is it research? Let's observe trees for quite some time. These might become important. Let's grab some of those and I'm sure this is going to be important or it wouldn't be there. So hint scavenging. Oh, I didn't click on it. So it eventually said, yo, read me. The landing pod and the space spaceship debris contain a variety of useful resources such as emergency rations, first aid kits, scrap metal, electronic components, and equipment. Their only drawback is that you never know exactly what you might find there, so scavenging is not a long-term reliable source of resources. All right. Scavenging is done in several stages, donated, denoted by the scavenging process in the info panel of the selected debris. Okay, I'll have to go try and find that. Um, progress one through nine. Hmm. You can cancel any time and continue it later where you left off. Nice. Okay. So with that, I'd say we already have this one marked for, for scavenge. There's no X in there, right? No, I guess we don't. I thought we did. Zero of 10. Oh. So when you, when you hit 10 of 10, is that when you can... Go through and deconstruct it. Maybe I answer my own question. Let's trigger you for scavenging as well. You are a six, you're a six, you're a six. Okay. So these two closest ones, we'll go ahead and get that done. And maybe we'll find that when we're done, we'll erase this one, erase that one, and we'll want to build our camp right here. I don't know. What was that? Discovery Panka. Usually passive will not retaliate when attacked. Oh, that bird. Went ahead and did it. Interesting. The one that landed on the ground. These parrot-like lizard. Lizard. This parrot-like lizard. That makes more sense. Uh, feasts on animal carcasses. For lack of a better name, <laughs> I will call them a pancaw. These birds seem to be fairly common in the region. They're... They nest on the trees and can be seen flying around in search of dead prey. It's probably not worth spending the time or effort to hunt them. They don't seem very meaty and fly away when approached, making them difficult targets. Okay. So, good to know. We're at the end of another day already. Wow. So, I don't feel, I feel like I got anything done. Let's set up some things to craft. Yeah, the, the days go by so fast, there's no reason to ever hit speed two or three. What, it feels like five minutes went by. Where are we right now? 23? Okay, 15 minutes went by. Um, anyway, craft. Let's hit that and see what that means. Um, bandages. Collect fabrics and leather. Okay, animal fats. So we need to find fabrics. Hmm, okay. So there's not a thing I can craft right now. Interesting. Um, at least of the very most basic research. Okay. So how do we deal with that? Simon, what are you doing right now? You're up here observing the mushrooms. So maybe as we get to, you know, as we observe these things, more research will show up. More, more project, um, Stuff you do on that bench. What would you call that? Let me get over there. Workbench. So, recipes for items to be made. Supplies. Okay. So, maybe when he gets done with the mushroom, something else will show up over here. That's a possibility. Um, we do have the corn researched now. So, can I harvest it? Apparently, I can harvest that. But nothing... Wait a minute, do that again. Nothing popped up. Oh! It didn't ask me, it just did it. Okay. Alright. So, orders harvest. Any more of these that are ripe enough to get anything out of. Okay. We still cannot harvest those. 
campfire sitting, so it must be 1900 hours. So let's make sure that everybody is... I would hate for them to work through this whole thing and not get the advantage of... Um, is Carter considered? Let's see, just... He's just eating. Okay, so he's not considered being part of this. Campfire sitting. So let's... Carter, draft... Well, not Carter. Let's get him finish that meal. I hate for him to have to start that all over again. Right there. Okay. Are you officially done? Wait for the eating to go away. Now we're done. Now we're going to the celebration. Let's draft all of you and then undraft all of you and see if they're all going to now go to the celebration. There we go. So, going to the celebration, I'm looking for... Now, you're probably not a good candidate. Euphoria comes from his meltdown, the opposite end of the pendulum. So, where is... There it is. You ate on a table, plus six. Okay, whoa. So, Carter is well-fed, had a pleasant walk. He sat down and relaxed, and he ate at a table. Eventually, we're going to see something to do with this campfire sitting that is going to boost them even more. But there... According to this, they're at a party, though. So, uh, Carter, he's, he's, he's a little bit elderly. He just, he, he ran out of energy. Yeah, he, he went to bed. He's not staying up till, uh, till New Year's this time. Mm hmm Which, this game does have a New Year's celebration. I've seen that. It's kind of fun. But we are relaxing by the campfire, doing a little dancing. Because there's really nothing else to do here right now. Eventually, we'll research musical instruments and... Other forms of entertainment. Dartboards, I think. Something like that. But otherwise, we're just taking a break. That's a good thing. They're going to take their breaks. We've got sleep set up for... Interesting. So 1900 was when that happened. Schedule. Sleep happens at 22. Let's move anything into 22, or 10 o'clock, just in case they can get more benefit out of a celebration if 1900 turns out to be the time, you know, what's that, 7 p.m., when things happen. So let's do that, that, sleep, and move everything out one hour. Okay. Anyway, they're doing their thing. Is there anything else for us to do out here? I didn't get a pop-up, so Carter did not, or Simon did not finish off with the mushrooms, which I'm now seeing now that it's dark, nighttime, there's a lot more of them available. Okay. I didn't see all these before. So we were queuing up grain cob when that happened. So orders, harvest, anything over in here. Yeah, we can harvest those too. Let's not harvest everything. I don't know how fast things will rot. Am I playing? Yeah. We just kind of wander the map here and look around. But I don't want to gather too many vegetables at once and then have them uh, spoil on us. Just got to thinking, I never... Just wandering and talking here. I never... Um, more mushrooms. Decided to... What to put on each of the shelves. Fireflies? Kind of like fireflies, huh? They're the, uh, the butterflies, but... Yeah, fireflies works. So let's get back over there, and I guess that's something we can do during the dark hours. Let's figure out what goes on the shelves and how... Oh, hello. Uh, if that chicken wins, I'm going to be surprised. That looks like a hard shell on... Yeah. Miss? Oh, he missed. He's taken three damage. He's given three damage. Don't know what that means. There's... Okay, bleeding out, and I assume that's blunt damage. Okay. So he's going to go down, but he is going to be injured. Do we have any kind of a... No, no hit points or anything like that. So we don't know how injured each one is. Hmm. So whichever... Now well, that is a good size walk. I suppose I won't uh, put a butcher order on that. And you're just... Oh, you're fleeing. And you're done. And the... Wounded Victor. And he's still bleeding. Okay. 
And you are down. Hmm. Well, we have two that could be butchered out here. Do we want to send them out this far? Is it that much of a benefit versus getting all the things done that need to be done around here? We're sitting fine on food. I think let's not do that. Unless there's anything that went down in our immediate area. Okay, so you guys are all sleeping. Good. And let's... um Shelves. These... Let's leave building supplies out here and everything else on the shelves. So how do I do that? Right there. So the shelves are not going to have resources, which doesn't give you the option anyway. Okay. Not going to have any of the foods. And they're not going to have any of the medicines. But I suppose they would get pretty much everything else. Now, can I copy-paste? Copy. And paste. Cool. All right. So over here, you guys are going to be... I was thinking you would be... Can I select none? Yeah. You're going to be meals and medicines. And you, deselect, are going to be just raw food. Okay. This guy is going to be deselect all and only have construction materials. Anything wrong with that idea? What is other items? Unfinished items. Yeah, these... They would be put on these shelves, and I think that's probably where they should be. Let's do that, and if we find that we're running out of storage, we could make this hut just a, a bunch of storage shelves. Yeah, I think that works. So storage is figured out. It is 4 in the morning. They're going to be waking up at when? Is there a hotkey for schedule? There's not. Not that it's showing me. Um, so... 6 a.m. Okay. Hmm. Didn't seem like much time to sleep. What is that looking like? So he went to bed early, and his rest is getting there. Uh, Rita would have gone to bed later. Two more hours. See, one thing I've got to think about is how many, when we played RimWorld, how many raids came in at midnight? Long day. Everyone was tired. And they just get to bed, and the sirens start blaring. Well, there weren't sirens, but yeah, the attacks would hit. I need to make sure they get a good night's sleep. We don't know what's going to be coming at us when. I'm going to add one more hour into that. Where is that schedule? Let's do anything one more time there and sleep one more time there. Although I had said this a little while ago, maybe they will sleep through the anything, but hmm, I don't know. If they get finished with their sleep, I'm sure they will get up on their own. We can check that out. We're now going until 7 a.m. We'll see if we get to that point. But if not, then yeah, let's see what happens when we get to 7 a.m. So remind me, okay? Let's let's go uh, let's go exploring. So big chickens are out. And, oh, did they? They did. They're munched on this guy. Well, we'll put a butcher order on there. RimWorld made you use a butcher's bench. I did not see one. Chopping block is only for wood, not for uh, prepping chickens. So, I'm assuming that that isn't a thing in this game. So, this one, I'm curious. We got yellow flowers. Are you the same thing? Bright leafy plant, bright leafy plant. Okay. Those look like flowers, whereas that looks a little like cotton. So maybe it isn't what I thought it was. I guess we're still waiting to find out. So how do we deal with observing versus research? Right now there is no... Oh, there is research, yeah. Simon should be researching. Who's going to observe? Right now Paulette and Rita are pretty much doubling up on cutting and what have you. I think we're going to give Rita observing. And we're going to give Simon research. Though research and observing both should um, skill up their intellect. 
which means he would then be researching faster if he had all the practice of the observing. But, yeah, let's spread the uh, the intellect out a little bit in case we lose one of those two and the other has to fill in. So, manage activities. And Rita is in here. Let's have her uh, not assemble. Three, observe. Let's have her start doing... Hmm. The cutting is done. Let's just leave it at two. When there's no planting and harvesting, there won't be any hunting. Uh, Carter reached physical three, and we just scavenged some clothing, so pants, which taught us how to make synthetic leggings. Even though we've been wearing them all along, but okay, we finally found something to teach us how to do it. Am I getting that wrong? That seems a little off to me, but yeah, Carter's transporting it in. He must have gone and done some, some scavenging. He's going to go do some more. Okay, so let's put two for Simon. After he gets done eating, he should walk over and start researching. Rita should, since there's no more cutting to do, unless there's any handling, like putting wood in the, uh, in the fire... There shouldn't be any reason for her not to go and start observing. She's going to harvest. What? Oh, we've queued up all the, the grain cob. Okay, that's fine. We can do that. I'm not going to min-max that one away. Although I might take that back. You're in good shape right now as far as being able to stay away for a long time. Can you tell me what this stuff is and if is it important? And can I even find it right here? Can you go and observe this one? Instead. Okay. That feels better. We don't have to have the grain cob yet. Though if we did get one of them harvested, it might throw a new recipe at us. Since it's in stock, like our scavenged pants. Um, I didn't see a sewing bench. Production. Science. Research. Do you see clothes production, sewing bench, anything like that? Tailoring. Was that there before? It probably was. Hmm. Tailoring. Can I move them around? I can't? Um, shift, control, center click. Ow, oh, you can't reorder them. That's a bummer. How do you get rid of them? Right click. Okay. So fortifications, how important is that? We don't need weapons. We're, we're, we're weaponed up for now. Let's get tailoring in there. 12 hour max. Looks like it's a quick research. And we'll toss that back in. And well, they're all 12s except for what is fortifications? That's a one day and construction's a one day. But we're working through this bar pretty quick we'll see simon is fairly intelligent we scavenged another pair of pants and some uh some cloth okay does it show up here yet <clears throat> can you determine what shows up here or just everything yeah there's the pants there's the cloth uh fabric cloth and leather i can't click on it so okay so the transport in the cloth Paulette got that job. Okay. Rita would have had she not been told to go and do that. So I have a feeling that that will override her, her activity schedule until it's done. Or until something happens like she gets really hungry or tired. That, I think, is a good guess. So Carter is really going to town on this one. I'd rather you did that one. It sure seems like you get more valuable things out of our ship than this old husk but yeah maybe there's something hiding down in here that we can't see hmm we are already at 1400 again next day wow it goes by quick so <clears throat> we don't know any other crops yet we're going to know that bright leafy plant soon what else should we be doing 
Researching is happening. We're still observing. Um, more supplies. Let's get... Let's see. If we move in up here, if we do, let's take down some of these trees. Where are you? Cut. Let's take down just to make a little bigger footprint in here. Let's ignore you. Oh, I never hit cut. That's what just happened. Okay. So, can I do it this way instead? Yeah. And can I shift and hold you? And I can get rid of you. Okay. Now, where are you? You're falling along. Okay. Let's cut you and cut you and clear this area out a little bit. And we'll cut you as well. And start... And I guess you do kind of have to go. Let's take you out. Take you out. And you. And are you a log? You are. Alright, so that should kind of open up this field a little bit more in that direction. I think this is where the, uh, the house is going to go. Which we don't know how to do yet. Because Simon hasn't quite finished researching that. But... Wondering if there's anything up here that talks about research. Not really. No. I guess we'll get a message possibly when it uh, when it gets done. Where are you? Forty-two minutes already. Wow. So projects to get done. Got it all. Okay. As far as what I noted. New resource, synthetic textiles. So what I noted as I was editing last episode as to what I needed to be sure to get done this episode. So synthetic textiles, new resource. Does that affect this? Craft. Does not, but we can make bandages now. We have first aid kits. We don't have specifically bandages. Right. Bandages are and synthetic. Okay, what you can make them out of. Turn that off. Make it out of cloth. Let's make 10 bandages. And until <clears throat> until we have 10. We'll do something like that. Make sure we always have an inventory of 10 bandages. Yeah. So that would be a Rita thing. Uh, Paulette thing. Which just remind me here. Activities. Paulette is dive into right there because she hasn't found anything to do she's over here at cut on our number twos but as soon as she's done with that tree or whatever she's working on she will go for her first number one right there so she'll go back to she'll start crafting as soon as she's done cutting this down and I'm assuming let's see Rita will also start cutting trees down after this too she almost done we're coming up at the end of the day, and she is getting really close to finishing. We're going to learn what these plants are. So, otherwise, so we've seen the wildlife. We've seen what they do to each other. And not much more to explore at this point. Now it's just a matter of learning more about our environment and doing things with it. So, buildings are done enough. Though... If I were to do something with fencing, I'm guessing that when Simon is done, we're going to get a new category called building. And that's going to give us walls, floors, roofs, and hopefully fences and gates. And we can start thinking about fencing off a bit of a compound. Discovery Cloth Blossom. Okay. This plant in blooms in beautiful big flowers, which go through a remarkable metamorphosis. Forming fibrous white balls. And cotton. I believe that they are very similar to cotton. And can be used in the production of cloth. So cloth blossom seems like a fitting name. Harvesting of cloth. Planting of cloth. Blossom. Cloth blossom. Yeah. Um, does that give us anything new here? Craft what? Nope. So that's probably a tailoring bench maybe to... Our sewing bench in order to turn cloth blossom into cloth. I don't know. I thought more things would be popping up as we discovered them. Oh, and we still haven't finished our 
Yeah, you're researching. You're harvesting. 2200. Well, next episode, let's remember to uh, get back to the mushrooms and finish that research. But I think that getting our buildings researched too is pretty important. So, yeah, we'll let that one go. Um, I feel like I was in the middle of something when all that popped up. <clears throat> I was. Don't know what it was, though. So, are we done for... Oh, I know what it was. It just came into my head. We just got the cloth blossom. So, let's go ahead and get that planted before we shut the episode down. Floss, cloth blossom. I'm having a hard time getting that out of my mouth. So, where the other ones are is a 75% growth. Good growing area over here. Hmm. <laughs> yep, yeah, it makes sense to do that. So, too bad I can't put a diagonal in anyway. Let's pop you in. That'll force us to take down some more bushes over there and get some more twigs out of it. Cloth. Let's get a sizable little area in there of cloth. And that's something else I was doing. So we've got more logs coming. Let's get some more of the twigs coming. So orders, cut. Let's clear out the rest of this field. Cut those. And some more grass is coming since we have a bunch of it planted right there. So let's go clean out the majority of this. You, um, that is the grass. And tell you what, let's grab you cut, but I want to pull one of these back. So you are not a cut. Let's leave one patch just in case something weird happens and I've got to have a, a DNA sample. <laughs> Who knows what technology is coming up? Bioprinting, for all I know. Um, with that, I think that is another episode. We are on. Day four of year one. Somebody just went high or I or something. I think Rita just had a really good meal. Yeah. Uh, a couple are sleeping over there. How are we interacting with each other? Back to happy. Was delighted by Paulette. Carter. So Carter and Paulette are having nice conversations. Was delighted by Carter. Okay. Does that translate into anything? Um... Was there anything it talks about how much... Here we go, social. So, Paulette, plus 12 to Carter and plus 10 to Simon. Rita has no opinions. Simon likes Paulette. Carter likes Paulette. Okay, so they are interacting with each other, and there's no negatives. So I don't need to make somebody sit in the corner or don't sleep on this side of the hut anymore. And is there any advantage to trying to put a sleeping mat in all four corners and separate them? I'm not noticing any... Where is that here? Negatives. As far... There was... Well, unrelaxed. Didn't get a break because I made her research all day. But I'm not seeing any disturbed sleeps. So I think what we've got going on is working. Okay. So with that, let's call this one done. I'll hit save and... I'll catch you next time, folks. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.